to our apartment. Yeah, I love it. And on the second floor, we've got a bedroom. So this thing, we couldn't figure this out at first, but it's amazing. We don't need a key to actually get inside our house. And this is so nice of them. They actually gifted us a bottle of wine. And another really cool thing is that they've got two bicycles, which we can take whenever we want to and drive around. And on the second floor, they've got this huge bed, also a big work table. This is how it looks like from the top. Top, <laughs> and hello from Mendoza, it is our day one here. We had quite a travel yesterday, <laughs> a lot has happened, but yeah, I'm so happy that we finally reached here. Now we're gonna walk around the city, see how it is, maybe eat somewhere and book some tours for these three or four days that we're here. And guys, check out our old black outfits. <laughs> As always. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Our neighborhood is very, very nice. It doesn't have a lot around because it's mainly just houses and people living here. It's, it's quiet, nice. Yeah. it's nice, it feels safe, so yeah, we like it. But looking at the neighborhood, actually, I mean, it's there's nothing much around here. And you can see graffiti have broken buildings and things like that some in some places so that street looked really good yeah there's like a main street where yeah. they have all the restaurants the bars and some of the restaurants look like so nice Super like I was, nice what? yeah so we're gonna check some of them out we're gonna show you guys some of them so far i would say yesterday was saturday when we arrived the streets were half empty <laughs> not like in buenos aires you can definitely see that this place is not like the biggest party place in argentina but, but we're not looking for that we're looking for the nature and yeah here is like and the wine and the vine <laughs> and the vine do it for the vine <laughs> Yeah, we didn't notice this door. It's so cool. And the funniest thing is that everyone is drinking wine at this time. It's like, what, 1.30? Almost 2. Almost 2, yeah. I mean, should we just go for it? I guess so. Okay, let's go. So I was just offered this drink. It is fresh orange juice with avocado juice. Oh my god, it's really nice. It is very refreshing. It is sweet, but not too sweet, I would say. So basically, right now I asked for a cup of wine, and they said that like we'll do this in two steps. First, you we serve you the half, and then the other half. I thought that this is a full cup already. But yeah, but more. usually they give like only that much, and that's like one glass. Yeah. But she said we're gonna do it in two installments, and it's good wine, it's right? It's really good. It's amazing. It has like floral notes, and it's super light. This is mm. Let me try this first. Right. So that is risotto, spaghetti with langostinos. And we also got truffle oil as a side. Oh, that's gonna be so sexy. But it's super sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, yeah, but. Oh. <laughs> but is it amazing? Now let's try my dish. Mm. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> you know, when the food is not good, I feel sad. It makes me feel sad when it's not tasty enough, but this is like. Wow. We got the check. 5,460. That's how many dollars? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Delicious. Less, less, 18. Yeah. And also we could not finish those portions because they were way too big, so we got a takeaway. And now after this delicious meal, we are in the center of Mendoza looking for some tour companies which are open on Sunday. Just super rare. Everything is closed. We found Easter eggs, one over here, one over there, and another one behind right there. 
I think we found people. We found where they are. They're right here. There is some celebration going on. I have no idea what it is, but we decided to crash the party. Exposition is some expo center. There's an actual yeah, stage here. Down. Oh, they're dancing. <laughs> ended up finding the winery that we wanted to go to so we yeah, have so planned we reserved, that uh, we booked the, the thermal springs, the thermal springs. yes yeah. we booked the thermal spa springs good morning everyone it is day two in mendoza and right now i'm slowly getting ready for our day as you see i've almost put my makeup on <laughs> and she's still asleep today we're going to a place that we came here to Mendoza for. We have arrived! Okay, this place is absolutely breathtaking. I mean, you guys will see the view. Wow. First of all, guys, this is the main building super cool and behind we've got the mountains and this is the name of the place alpha crooks apparently has some of the best wines here in argentina and i guess in the whole world we are a tiny bit late just look at this thing. A perfect way to start your day. Mi nombre es Laura, los voy a estar acompañando durante el recorrido. Lo único preciso que vaya es que es permite mantener la refrigeración de cada uno de los espacios. <laughs> I still want to sleep. <laughs> so, Ranji said this is the wine processing thingy. <laughs> That's where they make wine. <laughs> yeah. So now you know. <laughs> no, but actually, this one is very modern. They use modern technology to actually use the resources, kind of like to the minimum, to not overuse it, and also to make it more efficient. So that's as far as I understood from what she said in Spanish. And they use gravity as well. Everyone uses gravity. <laughs> yes. The gravity is used in process, so basically the process starts in the top floor and goes down. I don't know how it works. Okay. I'm guessing underneath in these there's a lot of wine being made right now. lab where they do all the experiments on new flavors <laughs> over there they have some offices and here they make small portions of wine just for tasting and trials look at those eyes though so this is Ranji and this is me <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. What is this? Like teeth instead of eyes? Yeah, that's definitely me. <laughs> Damn, that looks like wine exorcism or something. Apparently, <laughs> this is one of the biggest or the biggest wine cellar in South America. And there's more wine. <laughs> this day is gonna be amazing. And now we're going next. Oh, it is cozy in here. <laughs> Imagine. 
now Sample, one of the best parts is food. We are so hungry, we haven't had breakfast and we got the best table in here, which is this one, the corner table, which opens up to the view. Look at that. Look at the fish. Look, they're just like still, they're not moving. But they're just not moving. Are they asleep or something? It's just amazing. I mean, we've got the little pond here, the wine plantations, the mountains, and just everything is perfect. So this is just a hot stone to keep the food warm. Let it breathe a little bit. <laughs> Look at his concentrated face. <laughs> How to like luxury wine. Yeah? It has that like feeling in your tongue. It's kind of like a wooden taste. It's, it's, I like it. I like it. And we've got a dish number, number what, five? <laughs> And the last piece of main course is, of course, a steak. So sexy. And just like so many of you guys have suggested me in the comments under one of my videos about Argentina, I think the first video about Argentina, is to try steak with the Malbec. So let's do that. One of the best steaks I've tried in Argentina so far. Let's have it with red wine. Delicioso, guys. Just wow. And the last course is dessert. I am so full, but I have to try this dessert. It looks really good. And I still have three glasses of wine to finish. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh my gosh, how was it? It was Tell amazing. Me. It was the food was so amazing. Good. The, ex the excursion and everything was the experience awesome. itself the experience was overall great. was just so great. The yeah, food was great and they gave such good quality wine that honestly it was delicious. You don't feel bad, you don't have any headache or anything exactly. like that. And if you ever come to Argentina, this is a must do, honestly. Like this was on our bucket list when we came to Argentina and we did not regret coming here at all because we've tried really good wine. We had such amazing vibes here and everyone was so kind, so nice. The food was delicious. So yeah, no, we were happy. Um.